Hi, in this video, I will talk about current distribution in conductors of a coaxial cable. Let's say we have a current I flowing through this coaxial cable. This is half of a coaxial cable, and this is axis symmetry line. So a current I flows through the inner conductor, and a return current I flows in the outer conductor. It happens that if the frequency of this current is high, the current in the outer conductor tends to flow near to the inner surface. And the question is why this happens. Okay, so let us start some basic case. If you have a conductor and a current I passes through this conductor, if the frequency is low, then the current will distribute across the cross section of this conductor. As the frequency increases, the current tends to flow near to the boundaries of this conductor. And this phenomenon, we call it a skin effect. I have made several videos about the skin effect. You can watch them. Even if you have a tubular conductor like this, at low frequency, the current passes through the old cross section. As the frequency increases, the current tends to flow near to the outer surface of this conductor. And at high frequency, it almost flows on the outer surface. Same phenomena, skin effect, and same explanation. Now, when we have a coaxial cable, a current I flows through the inner conductor, minus I flows through the outer conductor. Notice that here we have the magnitude of current density, so that's why both of them are positive. In reality, one of them is positive and one of them is negative. But anyway, if the frequency is low, the current distributes uniformly on the inner conductor as well as outer conductor. And as the frequency increases, what we notice is that for the inner conductor, current flows on the outer surface. For the outer conductor, current comes near to the inner surface as you can see also here. This is 1000 Hz, this is 10 power 5 Hz, and this is 10 millihertz. The question, of course, is why this outer current comes near to the inner surface. So first of all, let us see why the current in the inner conductor goes to the outer surface. Of course, we explained that if we have an individual conductor isolated in a space, because of the skin effect, the current flows through the surface. But in this case, we have also another conductor here. Maybe that conductor should also impact the inner conductor. Is that the case? No, that is not the case. So if you have a tubular conductor, like this green conductor, if the current is symmetrical, we can easily show that the magnetic field inside this uh, tube is basically zero. So we can write Ampere's law for a circle like this. So integral of H dl is I, so I that flows through this circle, but we have no current there. So basically I is zero, and because everything is symmetrical, so H multiplied 2 pi R, is equal to zero, which means H is zero. So there is no magnetic field here. So if the current on the outer conductor is symmetrical, we will not have any magnetic field inside the tubular. So this outer conductor actually does not impact the inner conductor. So now inner conductor has a current I. As the frequency increases, obviously the current tends to flow near to the surface because of the skin effect. So we already know the behavior of this inner conductor. But how about the outer conductor? To explain the current distribution on the outer conductor, we need to know another phenomenon, and that is Proximity effect. Let's say here we have two conductors. One of them carries current I. In this case, also the other conductor carries current I. It can carry a minus I or a different value of current. It doesn't matter. So what happens is that this conductor creates a magnetic field, and that magnetic field surrounding this conductor, it also passes through the other conductor. Same way, this conductor creates a magnetic field which passes through this other conductor. So what happens is that the magnetic field of any of these conductors will interact with the other conductor and changes the distribution of current density on that conductor. And this phenomena, we call it proximity effect. So if these two conductors are close by, this proximity effect is stronger. If they are farther apart, it's weaker. Because obviously, when they are closer, the magnetic field is strong. OK, so now let us see how proximity effect impact the current distribution in two conductors. So in this case, we have two conductors that have currents in the same direction. So let us look at the left conductor. Because of its current, it creates a magnetic field around this conductor. And we can use right-hand rule to calculate the direction of this magnetic field. We put our thumb in the direction of current, then we close it. It shows the direction of magnetic field. So on the right side, the magnetic field goes into the page. And on the left side, the magnetic field comes out of the page. OK, so now we look at this other conductor. So the magnetic field produced by this conductor will also pass us through this second conductor, which is still going into the page. Now we have a magnetic field that goes through this conductor into the page and this magnetic field is changing. So an eddy current will be induced in this other conductor in a direction that 
the magnetic field of that eddy current opposes this background field. So which direction it should induce the current? The way that I put it here. Again, you can use your right hand rule. You put your thumb in the direction of the eddy current induced. When you close your hand, it shows the direction of magnetic field, which comes out of the page, which is opposite to this background field. If this conductor has the current upward, same as the other conductor, we notice that on the right side, the current of the conductor adds to the eddy current induced, while on the left side, the current in the conductor opposed to the eddy current. Basically, on this side, the current distribution will be less, and on that side, the current distribution will be more. And you can notice it here in the FEM simulation, so that where the conductors are close by, we have less current density. On the other side, we have higher current density. This is for scenario where both currents are in the same direction. Now, if the second current has the opposite direction, from the magnetic field, everything is the same, the eddy current is induced, and now we notice that in the left side, the eddy current adds to the actual current. On the right side, the eddy current contracts with the actual current. So the distribution of current will be something like this. So basically, where the conductors are close by, we have higher current density, and on the opposite side, we have a lower current density. Of course, this explanation is not a really complete explanation, but it gives some ideas about how the proximity effect impact the current distribution. Okay, so now we know this. As I mentioned, if the conductors are nearby, this proximity effect is stronger. Obviously, we also have the skin effect, but because these are very close, then this proximity effect can add together with the skin effect. It, it creates something like this. But if the conductors are separated, then the proximity effect becomes weaker because the magnetic field of this conductor and the other conductor becomes weaker. So the interaction that it creates is smaller. So the current distribution becomes closer to a single conductor in a space where we only have the skin effect. And if the distance is even more, then the impact of proximity effect becomes less and on, only we see the a skin effect. In this case, of course, we have both the skin effect and proximity effect. When they add together, because the proximity effect is strong, we see completely this one. But in this case, the proximity effect is much smaller compared to the skin effect. So we see that the skin effect is the dominant factor. Okay, so now we go back to our main question. Why current flows near to the inner surface of the outer conductor? So we can actually divide this outer conductor into many smaller pieces. And now we have one conductor here and we have one conductor here. So what happens? Because the current in this one and this one are opposite direction, we explain that due to the proximity effect, the current tends to flow near where the conductors are close by. So that's why for this individual conductor, the current tends to flow toward here. For this one, also current tends to flow here. But actually, for the inner conductor, the impact of all of these would cancel each other. So actually, this other conductor would not have any impact on this, as we explained before. But this conductor would get the impact from the inner conductor, and the current would be pulled toward the inner surface. Now, maybe you ask a question that, what happens if we have a coaxial cable with a very large radius? In that case, we said that the proximity effect should be very weak because the distance is very large, like in this case. In this case, we assume that we have a current I here and we have a minus I in this other one. In this case, obviously, also we have a current I here and a minus I in the whole cross section. So what is the magnetic field due to this conductor on the outer conductor? Basically, it's mu zero I divided by two pi R. So if we increase the radius, this uh, R increases. So the magnetic field of the inner conductor on the outer conductor decreases. Okay, so that is clear. Proximity effect becomes weaker. However, as we increase the radius of the outer conductor, the current in each of these individual conductor also decreases, proportional to I divided by 2 pi R. So basically, these individual currents also, the magnitude decreases with 1 over R. The magnetic field of this center conductor on the outer conductor also decreases with 1 over R. So it's true that the proximity effect becomes weaker, but actually the skin effect on this individual conductor also becomes weaker because the amount of current here is very small on each section. So if we add these two effects together, this one, the magnetic field reduces, but this one, because its current decreases, its own magnetic field will also reduce. So still these two uh, will have same strength, and therefore we will see the same proximity effect. So current flows near to the inner surface. However, for example, if we have current I here, and by some ways we have maybe minus 2I here or minus 3I here, in that case, 
not all of the current will flow on the inner surface. Actually, a part of it will flow on the inner surface and a part of it will flow on the outer surface. But that is not a realistic case in the coaxial structure. Always we have current I and then return current minus I. So therefore, we always get the current distribution on the inner surface when the frequency is very high. All right, so that is the end of this video. I hope that you learned something new. Bye.